are there Gigantopithecus still alive? It's a question that has tantalized explorers, scientists, and dreamers for decades. This colossal ape, believed to have roamed the bamboo forests of Southeast Asia until as recently as 100,000 years ago, is officially extinct. Its existence, known only through a handful of teeth and jawbone fragments, unearthed from the earth like whispers of a forgotten giant. Towering over 10 feet tall and weighing over half a tonne, Gigantopithecus was a true behemoth, dwarfing even the largest gorillas alive today. Imagine the ground shaking beneath its feet, its massive arms parting the dense jungle foliage with ease. But could such a creature, once thought confined to the fossil record, still exist, hidden in the unexplored corners of our planet? From the misty mountains of the Himalayas to the shadowy depths of North American forests, eyewitness accounts of large, unidentified primates have surfaced throughout history. Our planet, for all our exploration and technological advances, still holds vast tracts of unexplored wilderness. From the dense Amazon rainforest to the remote peaks of the Himalayas, there are places where human eyes rarely tread. These untouched realms, shrouded in mystery and teeming with life, could they harbour creatures long thought lost to time? Creatures like Gigantopithecus? Dense jungle canopies obscure aerial views, while rugged mountains and treacherous swamps hinder ground expeditions. Even with our most advanced technology, mapping these areas and documenting their biodiversity remains a significant challenge. Consider the depths of the Congo Basin, a place so dense and teeming with life that new species are discovered regularly. Or the remote islands of Indonesia, where evolution has taken unique turns, shaping creatures found nowhere else on Earth. It's not beyond the realm of possibility that within these untouched ecosystems, a population of Gigantopithecus could have survived, their existence hidden from the outside world. The challenge, of course, lies in proving their existence. A fleeting glimpse through dense foliage, a footprint in the mud, these are but fleeting pieces of a puzzle, open to interpretation and often impossible to verify. Throughout history, tales of mysterious creatures lurking in the shadows have captivated our imaginations. From the Loch Ness Monster to Bigfoot, these cryptids, as they are known, occupy a strange realm between folklore and potential reality. While many dismiss these accounts as tall tales or misidentifications, some researchers believe they might hold clues to undiscovered species, perhaps even hinting at the continued existence of Gigantopithecus. One of the most compelling pieces of cryptid evidence is the Patterson-Gimlin film, a short grainy footage shot in 1967, allegedly showing a large hairy bipedal creature, often referred to as Bigfoot or Sasquatch, striding through a clearing in the Californian wilderness. While the authenticity of the film remains hotly debated, it continues to fuel speculation about the existence of large, unidentified primates in North America. Half a world away, in the remote mountains of China, stories abound of the Yeren, a creature described as tall and ape-like, covered in reddish-brown hair. Eyewitness accounts from villagers and hunters describe the Yeren as a powerful creature, capable of walking upright and possessing incredible strength. Some cryptozoologists speculate that the Yeren, with its size and remote habitat, could be a surviving relative of Gigantopithecus. Further north, in the desolate steppes of Mongolia, nomadic herders whisper tales of the Almas, a hairy humanoid creature said to inhabit the Altai Mountains. Described as shy and reclusive, the Almas is often associated with ancient legends and folklore. While sightings are rare, the persistence of these stories through generations suggests a long-standing belief in a creature that defies easy explanation. While eyewitness accounts and anecdotal evidence can be compelling, it's crucial to approach these stories with a healthy dose of skepticism. Imagine a vast jigsaw puzzle, thousands of pieces scattered representing the history of life on Earth. Each fossil we unearth, every bone fragment, every tooth, is a precious piece of this puzzle, providing a glimpse into the past, helping us understand the creatures that once roamed our planet. Yet, for Gigantopithecus, this puzzle remains frustratingly incomplete. 
Our understanding of this enigmatic ape is based on a tantalizingly small collection of fossils, primarily teeth and jaw bones, unearthed from various sites across Southeast Asia. These fragments, like whispers from a distant past, paint an incomplete picture, allowing us to infer the ape's immense size and potential diet, but leaving us with more questions than answers. The most significant Gigantopithecus discovery occurred in 1935, when a Dutch paleontologist stumbled upon a peculiar tooth while examining fossils sold in a Hong Kong apothecary shop. This molar, far larger than any known ape tooth, sparked a wave of excitement and intrigue within the scientific community. Subsequent discoveries yielded more teeth along with several mandibles or lower jaw bones, each adding a small piece to the Gigantopithecus puzzle. These fossils, dated between 2 million and 100,000 years old, suggest that Gigantopithecus was a massive ape, potentially the largest primate to have ever lived. Analysis of the teeth, particularly their wear patterns and chemical composition, suggests that Gigantopithecus was a herbivore, its diet likely consisting primarily of bamboo, leaves and fruits. The massive molars, with their flat grinding surfaces, were perfectly adapted for crushing tough, fibrous plant material. However, the lack of skeletal remains, particularly limb bones, makes it challenging to determine Gigantopithecus's locomotion with certainty. Did it walk on all fours like modern gorillas, or did it occasionally stand upright like chimpanzees? Was it capable of bipedal locomotion like humans? These questions remain unanswered, the missing puzzle pieces leaving a gap in our understanding. Despite the limited fossil evidence, scientists continue to piece together the Gigantopithecus puzzle, employing advanced imaging techniques such as micro-CT scanning to extract as much information as possible from the existing fragments. In the quest to unravel the mysteries of the natural world, scientists often turn to a principle known as Occam's razor. This problem-solving principle, attributed to the 14th century Franciscan friar William of Occam, suggests that, given competing explanations for a phenomenon, the simplest explanation, the one requiring the fewest assumptions, is usually the correct one. When applied to the question of Gigantopithecus's survival, Occam's razor points towards extinction as the most probable outcome. The lack of conclusive evidence, coupled with the ape's specialized diet and habitat requirements, makes its continued existence in the modern world highly unlikely. The last known Gigantopithecus fossils date back to around 100,000 years ago, coinciding with a period of significant environmental change. During this time, Southeast Asia experienced a shift in climate with bamboo forests, Gigantopithecus's primary food source shrinking and giving way to more open grasslands. This habitat loss would have placed immense pressure on the already specialized Gigantopithecus population. Their large size, while advantageous in a dense forest environment, would have become a liability in open grasslands, making them more susceptible to predators and limiting their ability to find sufficient food. Furthermore, Gigantopithecus would have faced competition from other, more adaptable primates, such as macaques and orangutans, which were better suited to the changing environment. These factors, combined with the lack of any recent fossil evidence, suggest that Gigantopithecus likely went extinct, unable to adapt to the changing world around them. While the romantic notion of a surviving population of Gigantopithecus hidden in some remote corner of the world is appealing, it requires a significant number of assumptions. It assumes that Gigantopithecus was able to adapt to new environments, overcome competition from other species and avoid detection by humans for thousands of years. The natural world is a delicate balance, a complex web of interconnected ecosystems, each species playing a vital role. The survival of any species, particularly large primates like Gigantopithecus, depends on a multitude of factors, including the availability of suitable habitat, competition from other species, and the ability to adapt to changing environmental conditions. Gigantopithecus, with its specialized diet and reliance on dense bamboo forests, would face significant challenges in today's world. Deforestation, habitat fragmentation and climate change have all taken a toll on forests globally, 
shrinking the potential range where a large primate like Gigantopithecus could survive undetected. The expansion of human populations and agricultural practices has further encroached on wild areas, leaving less room for large, wide-ranging animals. Even in the most remote rainforests, the presence of humans through logging, mining or poaching can have a devastating impact on wildlife populations. Furthermore, Gigantopithecus would face competition from modern-day primates, such as gorillas, chimpanzees and orangutans, all vying for limited resources. These primates have evolved and adapted to their respective environments over millennia, developing complex social structures, foraging strategies and survival mechanisms. Gigantopithecus, if it still existed, would need to compete with these established species for food, territory and mates, a daunting task for a creature potentially less adaptable to changing conditions. The story of Gigantopithecus, whether extinct or alive, highlights the interconnectedness of all living things and the importance of protecting our planet's biodiversity. So, what do you think? Could Gigantopithecus still be out there, hidden in the unexplored corners of our planet? Share your thoughts and theories in the comments below. If you enjoyed this journey into the world of cryptozoology and want to delve deeper into the mysteries of the natural world, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on our next adventure. Until then, keep exploring, keep questioning and keep the spirit of discovery alive. See you next time.